My name is Renuka Ayer. I'm a medical oncologist and part of the neuroendocrine team at Roswell Park. We've made tremendous advances in oncology as a whole, but for neuroendocrine cancer, the advances have been few and slow. A big reason for that it has been the lack of a concerted effort to collect information, blood samples, as well as tumor samples all in one place, and allowing researchers and patients themselves to ask the right questions and to be able to get answers with confidence because there are enough samples in one place. Neuroendocrine cancers are very rare, and every subset of neuroendocrine cancer is even rarer. And research in this field has really been lacking because no one center has enough samples and information on each subset to really make meaningful conclusions and advance the field. The Roswell Park Neuroendocrine Biobank is the only bank of its kind in the country and is designed to help bring researchers to one place to advance research in the field of neuroendocrine cancer. The Neuroendocrine Biobank at Roswell Park hopes to collect patient information, tumor samples from surgeries that the patients have already had, and blood samples if they're willing to have a small vial or two of blood drawn and sent to us to understand not just risk factors that help us understand why people get this in the first place, but also what happens in the samples over time in terms of their biology. I invite every patient with the diagnosis of neuroendocrine cancer to be part of Roswell Park's Net Biobank. This is a chance for you to really make a difference in how the future of research in neuroendocrine cancer is done by having one place where each one of you has contributed some information, some tissue samples, some blood samples. We will now have the largest bank where questions that really help direct the future of net care can be asked. I am really proud that the team at Roswell Park has put in the resources to build this bank, this resource that will be the foundation for how research is done in the future for neuroendocrine cancer.